Pictograph alphabet A, B, C. Alphabet A looks very sharp. Let's start. Alphabet A, sharp series. Look at the apex of the alphabet A. It looks very sharp like a thorn. When you touch it, you feel a sharp pain and scream out, ouch. If you are Korean, you will scream out, aia. Vocabulary number 7. Acan Acanthocephalus. The acanthocephalus has many thorny hooks on its head, as an acanthus leaf does. Etymology. Acanthocephalus. Acanthocephalus is composed of Latin root acanthos, meaning thorn, and Latin root cephalo, meaning head. Literally, it means kind of parasite having thorny hooks on its head. There are many related words containing Latin root acanthos, such as acacia, ache, acute, acumen, acupuncture, pyracanth, coelacanth, acme, exacerbate, acne, etc. In addition, there are many words containing Latin root cephalo, such as bucephalus, cephalopod, microcephalic, etc. An acanthocephalus is a genus of parasitic worms, especially fish parasite. It is also found in humans and primates, causing human acanthocephaliasis. Literally, acanthocephalus means head, with thorns. Latin root acantho means thorn, and Latin root cephalo and Greek root kephalo mean head, respectively. Meanwhile, acanthus is derived from Latin acantho, meaning thorn. It seems to be so called after its large spiny leaves. The thorny leaf of an acanthus looks sharper than the thorny hooks on the head part of an acanthocephalus. A conventionalized representation of an acanthus leaf has been used especially as a decoration for Corinthian column capitals. The word capital has various meanings. For example, large letter of alphabet, property or wealth, main city of a country like Seoul in Korea, and head of a column or pillar. But, these all meanings come from head. A head is an important and top part of our body. And the head letter in head, H, is a large letter, capital letter. Literally, the word capital is derived from Latin cephalo or Greek kephalo, meaning head. Even the word head also comes from these roots. Various words such as cap, captain, chief, achievement, chef, gab, gat, etc., come from Latin root cephalo or Greek root kephalo, meaning head. You can see here six Latin roots. We can learn new words by mixing these root one another. Let's see what words we can coin now. Start a journey of building your vocabulary. Star number two, Latin root acantho meaning thorn. Star number four, Latin root cephalo meaning head. Star number two and star number four make the word acanthocephalus literally means head with thorns. An acanthocephalus is a genus of parasitic worms, especially fish parasite. Star number 6, Latin root pod meaning foot. Star number 4 and star number 6 make the word cephalopod. Cephalopod literally means head foot. Cephalopod's head connects to its many arms which look like a foot. That is why they are so named. Squids and octopuses are cephalopods. Star number three, Latin root tri meaning three. Star number three and star number six make the word tripod. Tripod literally means three feet. A tripod is a three-legged stand for supporting a camera or other apparatus. A tripod has three legs, an octopus has eight legs and a squid has ten legs. Star number one, Latin root gone meaning angle. 
Star number 3 and star number 1 make the word trigonometry. Trigonometry literally means three angles. Trigonometry is the branch of mathematics, dealing with the relations of the sides and angles of triangles, and with the relevant functions of any angles. Star number 5, Latin root penta meaning 5. Star number 5 and star number 1 make the word pentagon. Pentagon literally means five angles. Pentagon means a plane figure with five straight sides and five angles. Pentagon also means the Pentagonal Building serving as the headquarters of the U.S. Department of Defense near Washington, D.C. Part of the building was badly damaged in the terrorist attacks of the 11th of September 2001. A pentagon has five angles and a triangle has three angles. Literally, acanthocephalus means head with thorns. Latin root acantho means thorn, and Latin root cephalo means head. That is, as an acanthocephalus has many hooks on its head, like thorny leaves of acanthus, it is so named. These columns also have an acanthus leaf decoration on its head part, column capital. Acanthus leaf design has been varied over time. Watch the variations in order. Greek, Roman, Romanesque, Renaissance. The head part, capital of these columns are more beautiful than that of Acanthocephalus. Volca root number one. Latin root ache means sharp. Hereunder, you will study various words containing Latin root ache. Ache. Acute. Acacia. Acupuncture. Coelacanth. Pyracanth. Acumen. Acme. Acer. Look at the pointed peak of the alphabet A. When you touch it, you will feel a sharp ache, and scream out, ouch. From now, let's start a journey of building your vocabulary. <coughs> Let's call it a day. Next time, we will study vocabulary number 8. Pyracanth. Stay focused on this channel. See you next time. Thank you. Dedication. Above all, my deep thanks go to my Lord, who gave me so powerful and courageous spirit, without which, I couldn't write even the first line of this book. And then, to my better half, Sunja Kong, who encouraged me to do what I want to do and always smiled at me, though I didn't make her enjoy a happy life with a smile on her face. Finally, to my daughters, Jimin and Ji Hyun, who gave me support and sang a praise for me in unison, all the time. Copyright 2022 Kermijal.com, Hoyan Park. All rights reserved. No part of this book may be used or reproduced in any manner whatsoever, without the written permission of the author. If you think this video is useful, please subscribe here.